Hey, what's good, everybody? It's Thunk. Today I've got some Bully Bear in the jungle for you. But before we do that, I'm going to give a shout out to all the new subscribers. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. We're going to keep going for you. All right, enough of all that. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're going to go with Machete here. We're going to go with Machete. And um, so Bully Bear, Bully Bear got buffed. He still needs a rework. He's still iffy. But he got buffed, and now he's killing it in the jungle. So we're still going to go with the W Max. If you've never played Bully Bear before, um, he's a giant bear that runs at you, flips you, and bites you. Um, so we're still going to go with the W Max, and then we're going to go into Q. And then we're going to go into E last. And we're going to build straight tank, although there are options. And maybe if we get rolling and we get ahead, maybe we'll go an offensive route. But um, there are options for you to go attack speed, wit's end, uh, trinity force, blood razor. Uh, but for this time, we're just going to go Cinder Hulk straight into tank, and we're going to be a nuisance for our team because there's so many squishies. So, um, so Volley Bear, the way they buffed him, they gave him an increased attack, uh, increased move speed with his Q when he's running towards people. And his E has a little knockback now, and it gets a little bonus damage uh, if you knock back someone who is in the air. So, conveniently, that works really well with our Q. So we're going to run at someone with our Q. <coughs> I'll go ahead and take E second because I think I'm going to level 3 gank. So we're going to run at someone with our Q, and then when we flip him midair, we're going to hit him with our E. It's going to give us that extra bonus damage and uh, help out our combo a lot. So you kind of saw it there, right? When I pop my E, the wolves all snap back. Boom, just like that. Okay. When you're clearing with Volley Bear, uh, just use everything besides your Q if you're going to go, if you're going to go gank. If you're not going to gank, feel free to use it because it's an auto attack reset. So that's going to help out uh, a lot with your Q clear speed. All right, we'll just save up here. Smite Chomp. We'll get our Q. We've got some pretty squishy laners. They've got a Jarvan, so we're going to want to stay. And make sure everyone's safe. I imagine Jarvan, there he is. I was going to say, I imagine Jarvan would be mid lane. We should be able to get this, actually. Oh, ho, 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 I messed it up super hard. That's okay, though. We got his flash out. I'm much stronger than Jarvan at this point in the game. Um, he's He wants to get rolling early as well. Both of us do. But he can't duel me. Especially if he can't hit his uh, <coughs> QE combo. Okay. Alright, we'll see if he greeted out for his Raptors or not. I, I'm not sure that he would. It'd be kind of difficult to... Alright, so we'll try and steal him. Takes Volley a long time to do these bad boys. <coughs> At least until you get your Cinder Hulk. We're going to go by a bit faster. Again, we want to hang out around our mid and top lane. They're both carries. Even though this is a bot lane meta, our bot lane is going to have pressure. Um, so we want to hang out around where there's going to be problems. And I think there's going to be problems with our mid lane and with our top lane. All right, we'll go here and do this. Can't get him. That's fine. That's fine. Create a little pressure there. There's Jarvan. I'm going to come up here. Here. Get him. Get him. Whew. All right. It should be a kill for us. Nice. Pretty easy. Pretty easy stuff. We blew his flash earlier anyway. Uh, this is greedy. That's greedy. We're not going to go for that. We're not going to go for that. If we had killed multiple people, let's say like we killed the jungler and the mid laner, yeah, sure, maybe. But it's kind of a stretch, and at this point in the game, especially Fire Dragon does extra damage to you, it's going to be really hard to take Dragon, and they know we're doing it. It's a bit too risky. It's a bit too risky. We'll take the win and get out.
Okay. <clears throat> if I was Jarvan and I reset here, I'd probably go back bot side. I'm thinking his wolves and his gromp. At least his gromp at the very least. But I'm thinking his wolves will be up too. So I'm going to go ahead and float top side and then middle again. Because they are shoved in bot. So he can't really do too much there unless they drastically overextend. Another thing he could do is he could just go straight up to his Krugs and try and gank the Yasuo who's been overextended this whole time. <coughs> but instead they went bot and went for the dive. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> but it was a trade one for one. Um, not the choice I would have made. But maybe he's working with the duos down there and says, hey, let's go ahead and do this. Leona can actually win that, but he, she can't pursue too hard on that one. All right, so we'll go ahead and get our Predator boots. We'll get our Cinder Hulk. And we'll start working towards, you know what, I'm just going to sell this and get that now. Blue Smite's pretty strong, so and I, and I think I want that, so I'm going to go ahead and get that now. They could do that. But again, it'd be difficult in their early game, especially since they don't know where we're at. Um, just because you can doesn't mean you should. I really don't want Leona to back here. Yeah, I want her to stay. I have Predator. They don't have Vision there anymore. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens here. Where are they at? Are they in a bush? Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. The gank mid lane. Yep. So Jinx must have just backed off. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead here. Too much CC. <coughs> so Jinx just backed off completely. That was weird. I thought... Uh, I thought that they had backed and bought, and so they were coming back down bottom again, just resetting on the lane, but Jinx must have stayed and did a weird back. All good, though. Okay. Well, let's get some health and a control ward here. Control wards are super important these days because they remove trackers, my favorite, so it's very important that you keep vision on the map uh, via control wards. Not sure where they are. J4 is probably topside. Yasuo's destroying Shen. Ooh, my goodness. Poor guy. I don't really feel bad, but I kind of feel bad, you know? Oh, my goodness. What is this? <laughs> what is he doing? Okay, so you saw there, I just, <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. Why was he doing that? Talon's missing, so we're, we're a little bit concerned, but word up and make sure everything's all right. I could still get popped by Talon, technically. There he is there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going. We're live. Let's go. Ooh, good try. Easy there. Easy there. This is, uh... Yeah. There's the resets. Do I have to flash out? Oh, I flashed late. Dang, my bad. So that was just an overstay and misplay. As soon as the, you know, Le Leona kind of baited us a little bit. But as soon as we weren't going to catch them, we should have just backed off. We should have just backed off right then and there. <coughs> All good, though. All right, so they're going to get this because we have zero pressure. Bot lane and jungle just died. Kind of scenario we were setting up before, right? Oh, man. Woo! Okay. 
Nothing doing there. Okay, I'm looking top here because top lane is winning super hard. And if you're playing the jungle, you always want to play around your winning lanes. Mid, I kind of knew a champ select. It was a foregone conclusion she was going to lose. Um, you know, she could press her talent up until a point. Basically up until level 6 if she plays smart. But after that, it's there's just really nothing she can do about it. Uh, talent's just going to jump on her and blow her up every time. Just like he did there. So... Want to play around your strong lanes, and that's what they're doing as well. You saw Allie roaming, making the plays up there. Um, we want to do the same. We want to play around our strong lanes as well. Uh, ping them careful, because we're not sure what's going on there. I would love to go in on this, but it's a bit hard to do. <coughs> Mostly just hanging out there, protecting... Uh, Yas from Jarvan. That's really all we're doing there. Just making sure Yas doesn't get ganked by Jarvan. Oof. Dang. Okay. Let's see if we can't make this happen. I have Predator. Oh, ho, 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 so close. That was close. That was close. Oop. I almost had him over. I almost canceled his flip over the wall. Oh, the Yas. Whew. He doesn't need me to protect him. He's fine. He's got it on his own. All right, so I'm going to come here because there's vision there. Clearly, they see me. But we've got so much vision down here. They, I mean, they have to, uh, they have to respect it. Their top laner and their jungler just died. <coughs> their mid laner was pressured. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Bit of an overextension there, and we forgot about the Shen. Classic. Um, we could have killed him, but you got to respect the Shen, right? That's our misplay. That's our bad there. You always have to respect when a team has Shen. And he hasn't really used his ult because he has been um, pressured under Tower by Yasuo the whole time, so he hasn't been able to ult to help. But, you know, and... The thing about Talon that makes him so great is he has the ultimate roam ability. He can jump over walls. He can clear half the map before Zyra even makes it to the river, you know? And when you roam, like when your mid laners roam, <coughs> they have to make sure they shove under the tower first. They have to make sure that they're not losing too much by going for the, going for a roam. So... I can't blame Zyra for not coming. Uh, I wish he would follow at some point, but I can't blame, I can't fault her for that. I will come right back down though. Keep ganking the bot lane. Oh, she had to flash too. That's good though. That's good. Not sure where they're at. So, wait. That mid lane, you knew Alistair was there. I don't know. Give it to Tristana. Nice. Okay. That's fine. First tower, Blood's already gone, so we're not, like, racing Talon here. We're just going to go ahead and take the tower. Just take the tower. Oh, no. I forgot that I have uh, Blood whatever. Or, I mean, Cinderhole. Bombies, so I took aggro. 
I'm afraid there's going to be three top. Oh, okay. Cool. Another good thing about this game is we can focus primarily on armor. It's going to be really nice. <clears throat> so the longer this game goes on, Yas is going to get stronger. Zyra's always going to be effective at dealing damage, right? She's got all that AoE going on with her. But uh, for us, as a tank, this is beautiful. They're all AD. All I have to do is focus one defensive uh, stat. It's beautiful. Okay, so up next, I'm undecided if I want to go Mobies or Swifties here. Um, because they have some slows, right? I'm not too worried about the Alistar stun is their hard CC, and you can't... Tenacity doesn't reduce anything for knockups. So I think I'm going to go there. And get a little bit more armor, because why not? And get a control ward, because remember your control wards. And there's a Fiesta bot lane, so Ripperino. Alright. They're going to get Dragon probably here. Although with Yas coming down... Yas, Zyra, and I can actually win these fights. Yes, Zyra's got a lot of AoE damage. Yas is huge. <coughs> mm -hmm. And they have to give it up. Huge. Clean. All right, now we go take the dragon. It's another beautiful thing about my E now. It's not just the flip off of the Q that can proc a Yasuo ultimate, right? If I get in the middle of everyone and I hit my E and knock them all up, that's a multi-man uh, wombo for the old Yasuo. All okay. Let's place our control ward there because I felt like they saw us coming. <coughs> okay. Alright, so uh, this is mid game now. So we want to be grouping with our team as much as possible. So I'm just going to get the blue buff here and then I'm just going to go run to be with the team. Especially because we're strong. We're 4 3 and 3. We have a lot of gold. A lot of our team's gold. Yas, that teleport was great. Um, we want to facilitate as well. We don't want to just be farming. We don't want to be, you know, roaming around doing nothing. We want to be with our team, helping them out, taking our advantage to other lanes. <coughs> Not just because we're junglers, <laughs> but because we're strong. Oh, I found a Talon. I'm never going to be able to catch him, though. Can I get it? Oh, almost. So fast. <laughs> Woo. All right. Yep. She should be dead here. Unless she backs now, in which case she makes it out. For sure makes it out. This one. Woo! Oh no, the taunt canceled the Yasso. This one. But he is Yasuo. <laughs> oh, the fiesta begins! <laughs> in my videos you guys can't see chat you guys can't see how nice I'm being to my team there we go we'll put it right there all right so we'll get our dead mans and we'll work on probably gonna go into thorn mail eventually but in the meantime we can just get the um, bramble vest 
Okay, so we're doing good. Um, that play was a bit of a misstep. I kind of knew Talon was there. I did not respect how quickly he would pop me. Um, so that was that was my bad. But now I know. <coughs> so again, let's get back with our team. Make sure we have vision where we need vision. I'm too alone. I could take that, but I, I didn't have enough people there, so I didn't want to do anything stupid. Ah, that's where it is. That was interesting. How that happened there. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Oh no, why do I have tower aggro randomly? Let's take this tower. Make sure we get something out of this here. Okay. Nice. Nice. Well done. Well done, well done. Help out Yas here on the rotation. <coughs> That's fine. I mean, if we just get multiple inhibs for trading, right? League of Legends is a game of trades. Uh, every action you do, you have to consider the consequences. Um, because the enemy team's going to have their own actions. And Talon's response uh, is to take bot inhib. Well, for that decision, he gave up two inhibs and potentially Baron because we can melt it and I'm tanky enough to tank it. No, 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 no. Come, Baron. Help with Baron. Help with Baron. Come, come, come. The Ignite. The Ignite made it close. Uh-oh. This guy. This guy. I need my passive to trigger. I have one HPs. I can't do this. <clears throat> oh, Lord. <laughs> He's still chasing. <laughs> Turn on my Predator. We gone. I'm so fast. <laughs> Hit a little trick 2G dance on him. <laughs> nice. Nice. We're getting some good team plays in. We lost bot lane in Hib. That's fine. We traded it for two in Hibs and a bunch of kills because Talon is the one on their team who's fed. Um, right? He's got seven of their kills. That's most of their gold. And so... When we're grouped as five against their 5v4, and they are making bad plays. Maybe this works if they have the wave clear and they kind of stave us off, and we can't do anything. We're dancing there, and then we ended up, you know, losing. Mm, do I want to go this? I don't know if this is good on Bully Bear, but we're going to run it. it. Seems like a good thing to do. Uh, I'm going to walk towards Baron. We have two inhibs down. We have pressure. We can always see all of them on the map because they have to deal with supers or they have to be in our face. Talon can't afford to just be hiding around a corner somewhere. So. We can melt this thing down, and at the very least, we can bait it. Unfortunately, I don't have a control ward. I wish I did, because uh, that's the best way to set this up. But in the meantime, we'll just do it anyway. See how fast we're bringing this thing down? Uh-oh. <clears throat> and now we go down bot lane. Oh, no. Oh, is he going to save her? Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm coming to the aid of... Oh my, this game is so over. <laughs> wow, all right. <clears throat> the pop-off. 
There it is. GG, well played. Um, so there you go. You got to see a little bit of Volley Bear there. And his potential. I would have been a tanky menace the later this game goes. The more and more armor you stack, you do a significant amount of damage. Your base damage on your ultimate is huge. Let's give it to the Yasuo. He didn't int. We had the good Yas on our team. And level 60. Let's go. Um... So yeah, so we got the QE combo in there. We're using our aw team. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was a good game. So you got to see the QE combo. Volley Bear's buffed. He's free low. Put Predator on him. If you don't want to use Predator, you can also use Aftershock. Both of them are good. I think in the jungle, he's just better with Predator. You can run people down. This is a bit harder, you know. It's going to be hard for me to catch a Talon who's going to be leaping over walls. Um, it's going to be hard for me to get into the top lane against a Shen who is constantly shoved under his tower. Yeah, we can dive, but it was a little bit too risky in the beginning. Um, and then bot lane as well with an Alistair who's just going to headbutt me away. Although you can flip him. So if you hit Q and you're running at him, you just click on Alistair and then when he tries to headbutt you, you can still flip him back and you can still do your E Q E combo on him. Um, so through all of that, you know, makes it a little difficult, but we were still had an impact there. We were still running people down. We were out dueling Jarvan in the jungle. That's another thing people don't really respect about the bear is uh, the thunder bear can duel you. He brings the damage. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. Again, I appreciate all the new subs, all the support. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Thonk. Keep your head up. Keep